Yeah, look, I, I think I think it's always easy to say that when you've got six batters who are all averaging 45 or 50. Um, if you think of teams you're playing against, you look at the, the numbers of the, the Indian batters, I think everybody's between 45 and 50, and unfortunately we don't have those those numbers in our batting lineup at the moment, and that's probably why you end up playing an extra batter to try and make up for that. So it's a catch-22 situation. If we if we'd lost and we were under for five people who say, why didn't you play the extra batter? If you don't pick up wickets, people say, why don't you play the extra bowler? So, guys, hindsight's a great side. Um, if you knew exactly what's going to happen, it wouldn't be an interesting game. Look, it's, a, it's still a very inexperienced test team. Um, I think, uh, and obviously, Mominal's first captaincy day today. And I mean, it's a tough place to come and have your debut test match as a captain. Um, but he's a calm, composed guy. And, I'm sure you'd have learned a great deal from today and it's very hard to judge him on, on, on one test match in India after two tough days. So, look, he'll grow into the job and he's got all the right attributes. He's a, he's a good young player. He's eager to learn. He, I think he commands the respect to change him because he's such a calm person. So he's got great potential in the leadership of the team. Look, there's, I mean, Bangladesh's record in test match cricket isn't good. I think um, in a hundred and... I might be wrong, I think it's like 13 wins in 115 test matches, so it's not a, a sudden thing, it's something that's been coming on for a long time and it's something that needs, um, it needs addressing. If we, want to, if we want to become a serious test team, there's structural changes we need to make to the team to make sure that the team's able to not just perform at home but perform away from home, so those are things I need to discuss with selectors and I need to sit with the captain and plan a way forward. Um, now that I've seen a few of the players, this is my second test match and I can create more of a, an impression as to what I think the team needs and where the team is falling short. So hopefully we can make those changes and we can make those progressions going forward. That's, that's, that, that's a challenge and that's something that, we, that I need to come to terms with this, was as, as a coach. Um, there's, there obviously... It's a, it's, it's a tough one being my second test match and, and seeing how guys approach test match cricket, um, how they train leading into test match cricket. Um, and it's, it's hard for me to say whether guys prefer that to need to ask them. Um, but look, there are definitely players that are more suited to playing T20s and there are players that are more suited to playing test match cricket. There's no doubt about it. Some players are hungry when they play T20 cricket. Some players are hungry when they play test match cricket and that's just the way it is. And I think trying to, to, to siphon out the T20 guys one side and the test match players one side is something that I'm still trying to grapple with and try and find. But after this last T20 series and maybe even after two days of test match period, I'm starting to get an understanding of who the guys are that I think this needs to be aware. There's no doubt that in the past, India backed themselves to win in India on spinning pitches. Now I don't think that's the case. I think they're backing themselves with a bowling attack to beat any team on good pitches in the country. So there's definitely a mindset shift that we've got fast bowlers and we can beat you on any surface anywhere. And that is something Bangladesh needs to go through to try and develop some fast bowlers, to try and prepare wickets that can assist their fast bowlers that when they're even away from home, like India were a year or so ago in Australia where they beat Australia and competed with South Africa, um, that's the biggest shift, that they no longer just reliant on their spinners, that they will prepare good wickets and back the fast bowlers to do the business as well.